didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Yeah, well, you killed the last three you came across, so what the f- Alright, May does have another note for me, but since I made Casey wait a day in the last part, I'm gonna just go do his mission today. And he wants me to go find all of his dead friends at Rampart. Which, uh, spoiler alert, yeah, they're dead. Why am I backward? That never happens. Fucking everything's been weird since I got the index. It's been slightly nicer, but a little weird. <laughs> gotta get used to it. Now, this is the one where I gotta follow a bunch of fucking blood trails. And all these doors are locked, probably. Yeah. Everybody's in the gym, though. Okay, cool. I remember it being a little more spread out, but I'm glad it's not. But the blood trail might lead back to the school. Right, never mind. Fuck. Probably also locked. You gotta enter by like the locker rooms and then make your way to the other side of the gym, right? This is just like a utility area. Lickety lock. I don't remember the particulars of this mission. That's the closet. Nothing. Please be unlocked. Motherfucker. There we go. I remember now. Of course I had to circle around the whole building before I saw the part that looked familiar and I knew where to enter. Ugh. Whoop. Up we go. Alright, there's one of them probably. Number one. All right, first note seems to allude that all they really did is kill somebody, protect their bunker, which, uh, what the fuck does that matter in the apocalypse? Apparently Casey threw a fit about it. Casey and Kenny. Did you just like pretend you were noticing me? What's going on? Hello? There you go. I guess that damage to your helmet didn't stop there, went extended to your brain a little bit, huh? Dumbass. Even for a zombie. Well, actually, you know, in this game, zombies are the smart ones. Hierarchy of intelligence. The tourist, zombies, human NPCs. And now I gotta start cleaning out the gym. Maybe this will help me clear it out a little bit. We'll see what that does. While I search this area for another body. Honest- oh! <laughs> Before I was so rudely interrupted, uh oh, what I was about to say was, uh, it's almost a shame Set an explosive and then walk away from it and not get to see what happens when it goes off. But that's what cool guys, cool guys do, right? Cool guys really miss out. What the fuck happened? God damn, I'm strong. I destroyed that door. <laughs> and there it went. Unlock this for next time. And then promptly shut it. <laughs> Looks like that explosion only attracted zombies, didn't kill many. This place has to be a damn maze, and you gotta walk around so many objects to uh, get to the bomb. That was weird. Why are physics being weird today? Alright. Am I gonna fail another decapitation? Uh, yeah, totally. Alright, come on. I don't think there was someone over there. Here's someone. 
And her note basically said the same thing as the first guy, just in a lot more angry words. So fucking dark! Oh, come the fuck on. Hmm? Alright, there can't be that many more zombies in the gym. I don't think any of Casey's buddies' bodies are out here on the main floor anyways. Who heard me? I can't see a damn thing. There you go. Gotta wait till they get right up on me before I can see them, this dark ass. This, bu this particular building is so fucking dark. <laughs> right, there's at least a third body in there. Enter this one from the top. You drop. What are you doing in the ceiling? What? Seriously, what is a zombie doing in the ceiling? You don't belong here. Get down there. Now, I'm going to drop in like a hero. Smash! Oh, shit. That didn't work at all. And I just took damage like a shithead. Ah! Taking more damage like a shithead. Why the fuck don't cleavers work right now? I don't know what's going on, but maybe I just suck ass with a cleaver. <laughs> Recipe. Basically fucking garbage at this point. And a new... The third body. I'm a good person. I know I am. Right, and this poor kid was just a dummy trying to do the right thing, and looks like somebody killed him and walked away. And I gotta follow the footprints. Oh, come on! How the fuck? No, I just cleared this place out. Where are the boot print? There we go. Sometimes... Man, I kind of wish this game's spawn logic... Well, I wish this game's spawning system had logic. Because logic would dictate that everything in this room was dead already, and there shouldn't be any damn zombies. But whatever. But Prince, fuck me. Where'd you why are you walking in big fat circles, idiot? Oh, I was supposed to start over there, and then the bloody footprints would have led me to every other body. Is, is that how it works? Wait, so did that one dude kill all of his buddies? What did he feel bad? Feel like they all needed to die for what they did? Uh, the only conclusion I can come to. Then again, my brain power is limited because I'm surrounded by fucking zombies that shouldn't be here. <laughs> is there another one? Is there another one around the corner? Are you fucking shitting on my face right now? Eat cleaver! Waste of a weapon, damn it. Oh, wow. Yo, bro, bro. Bro. Who's yanking my chain? Game's out to get me today. Jug. Fuck is this good for? <laughs> Alrighty. That's most of the doors to the gym unlocked, I think. Whatever, I don't care about this save file. God damn it. Hate when physics just decide to disagree with you. Is it the index is throwing me off? Oh god. Alright, time for a little bit of redemption. Nope, still can't throw with the index either. Why? Why the fuck? 
Why? <laughs> That's honestly bad. That's- it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault that I can't throw with the index, and it's kind of making me a little mad. Alright, will you fuck off for like two seconds? Well, at least in this game, looks like my throwing days are over. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's... This game even has such a forgiving lock. Like, if you just throw it vaguely near the enemy's heads, it'll give you a kill. Fucking finally. Not worth it. Never doing it again. <laughs> Swear to God, if this door is fucking locked, I'm gonna. F sh okay. Right, this dude's still alive. Oh, didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Yeah, well, you killed the last three you came across, so what the fuck? He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? <laughs> For now. Good to hear. We killed dozens of innocent people. Civilians trying to, to get into the bunker. When all the shit with the dead walking started to go down. Right, so you weren't protecting your shit. You were being greedy. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. Oh, and this is where I'm others. supposed to know that the bunker's near the church. Him. Okay. But he trusted me. You said you killed your squad mates. Why? We all deserve death for what we did, champ. Right, it was guilt. Okay. They were gonna hurt Cousin Timmy, and I couldn't let them do that. I had to make sure. Cousin they were Timmy? never gonna hurt no one ever again. Right, Uncle Tommy? Hey, 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 before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end, right? Why are you talking about a bowling alley? Whatever, at first I was gonna kill you for beating because I thought you were a psychopath killing all your teammates. And now I'm gonna put you out of your misery because it seems like the nice thing to do. And why both of those conclusions are the same, I don't know. Because there's no justice in this fucked up world, apparently. Well, Casey may be annoying, but according to those other people's stories, he didn't fire on a group of innocent civilians, so, you know, brownie points. Maybe I won't drown you. He was really just annoying at first. See, that's where my morality comes into play. I've been wasting the tower, and I've been wondering if I could even pull, bring myself to kill Casey. I know he's a fictional character, but, you know, I, I still have a sense of morality. Doing the right thing in games is fun. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, Amber left me another thing. A picture of her zombified self. That's some fucked up foreshadowing. If ever I seen it. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. All your squad mates are dead. Kenneth killed them. Holy shit. How do you know? I stumbled onto Kenneth. Can I talk to him? He wasn't gonna make it. He begged me to put him out of his misery. So I did. Best policy. Oh. Well, um, I'm sure you did what was right. Doris. Honesty, not killing people. Shit. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kenny. What did he tell you? Everything. 
You know, I don't need to crucify Casey or I don't even need to bring it up. We can move on. That's yeah. what I was thinking, Taurus. You can drop it. Or prod. I know it must be hard, Casey. Are you satisfied now? No, I didn't even want to talk about it. A cross? Like in a church? Yes, because that's it's where the no fucking doubt. reserve is. This little chat? It's warned me to fuck out. Me too. God damn. Shut up. Keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. <laughs> Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. Well, I'll get that key for May. Don't you worry. I'll talk to you later. I guess. Speaking of which, let's go see what she's got for me, and then I'll probably do a mission for May in the next part. Unless Casey has the third pump regulator location. I don't know, we'll see. Hey, tourist. Alright, so apparently May wants to meet again, and I'll have to do that next part as well. So I'll go meet with her first, and then decide what mission I want to do tomorrow. So next time, I might have to flip another gun to see what mission I want to do. But if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like or share it, and if you want to see more physics-based VR combat or the rest of this series, then be sure to subscribe. Until next time, the Killer Tanner, out.